So when you make a buckle, you need straps. So we're gonna talk about how to make straps. This is probably one of the most dangerous things you're gonna do because you get this rotary cutter and it's razor sharp. It cuts leather. Sharp. So if it can cut leather, you know it can cut you. And we're gonna roll out our hide and just cut a one inch strip for our standard strap. If you got a belt, it's somewhere between an inch and a half or an inch. Um, I just let the hide fall off the table and try and keep a track distance on my cutting surface. What we can do Bring our hide over, line it up like so, so we have our cutter mat below our hide. And just remember, if it cuts leather, it cuts you super easy. So I've got this ruler, this is a steel um, strip, one inch wide, and let's make sure we can see here. So I'm starting at the edge with my cutter. And I'm just making sure that the edge of my steel is always at the perimeter of the leather. Pushing down firmly with my steel. This is my straight edge. And then also holding down firmly with my cutter, making sure that I get a nice uniform cut. And the blade edge is gently resting against that ruler. All right. You want to make sure that your leather is pulling freely away. And I won't try and do one long continuous cut. I'll find where my cut went and then I'll pull all the material across the table and then reline up my edge. And to keep my cut nice and continuous, what I'll do is I'll find that flap and I'll line my blade up gently inside that cut so it nestles right into where I was leaving off cutting. And again, gentle pressure, firmly moving forward. Pull everything forward again. And then with your ruler, check your same alignment. Just make sure you're following the hide. Now, some of the leathers that are thicker work really well when you're cutting with a strap cutter. And that's basically a razor blade with a channel that allows you to pull the hide through. But if you're not pulling perfectly straight, it's basically the same thing as if, you know, you're not holding your ruler down perfectly straight. You'll still get a wander to your cut. So it's always important to make sure that when you're cutting, everything is lined up. You're not rushing it. You're using the tension of the material to do the cutting. Your blades are sharp and you're not rushing. So as we go through this hide, we're just trying to produce one nice, uniform one inch strip this is you know whole height of a cow so it's going to be a fair amount of strapping this strap will go around your body multiple times depending on which side you choose to start on here we go lined up again gentle pressure And we're getting ready for our last cut. So for my strapping, I generally try to use a soft, soft leather, not a veg tan, but something kind of like a latigo or oil tan, like a heavy oil tan or a light latigo. That way it's comfortable to wear, but it still has enough body to hold your armor on. So now we have our last cut. 
and we're going to follow straight through on our straight edge, just taking it nice and slow, making sure our alignment is exactly how we want it to be. But you just want to follow through on that final cut. Slow and steady. There we go. Can remove our straight edge. We've got our hide. We can roll that back up. It's always good to make sure your cutter is closed before you throw everything away. When it's rolling around on the table, you don't want it to scratch your leather. We'll just roll that hide right back up. So you can see the strap that we have, the three foot, six foot, so about eight feet of strapping, which is more than enough. So that's how you cut your strap. And to do a smaller one, you're going to want to make tiny little measurements. So that for your half inch buckle, you're a little more attentive in the process. Or you can find a piece of steel stripping that's a half inch. I find that that's a little tricky. So oftentimes what I'll do is I'll just put a marking in the middle of my roller right here. So I know that this much should be overlapping the leather. And then this section should not be overlapping the leather. And I do that on both sides of the roller with a Sharpie marker. 